and I mean, talking about music and, and science, that's how I ended up in what I'm doing too. And, and I have for the past six plus years been advocating uh, about the importance and the power of music in, in branding. And um, I've also scientifically been able to confirm the powerful effect that music has on branding, sales, the customers, and the staff store experience. Uh, now, from the perspective of neuroscience and psychology of music, walk us through how my results can be explained in terms of how music is connected to our emotions, memories, and associations. That, yeah. Sure, and and this was uh, like you uh, a, a really um, uh, primary focus for me in my work in consumer neuroscience at Nielsen Consumer Neuroscience, exploring how music uh, affects the potential for brands to grow, uh, how it, it can influence uh, video ad performance. But uh, you know this power of music that we've been talking about a little bit, um, thinking about the cultural significance of music, it, it has these amazing, uh, these, these amazing attributes that allow the brain to really latch onto it. It's an amazing mnemonic device. So it's got all this structure, a structure in terms of rhythm, in terms of melody and harmony. And, and uh, if there are words, then there might be rhymes and other patterns patterns and words and, and uh, the syllables and, and phonemes involved and so on. So you have all this structure and the brain being this um, prediction machine that is always trying to take into account what it already knows, identify patterns and, and anticipate what's coming next. Music is kind of this uh, catnip for the brain. It's uh, just fascinated by this and uh, looking for deviations from expectation and connecting meaning uh, with what uh, with what we're hearing, so you know, of course, when we get to to branding, you, you can just take this uh, incredible vehicle for creating memories and associations and utilize it to um, deliver messages or, or build associations that that you'd like to develop for the brand. Yeah, and 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 going back to the Joff. Uh, film sound clip comparison. I actually uh, myself always use the Shining trailer that is on YouTube. And for our listeners, I will add this uh, on my website uh, to watch for your own experience. Um, so at the conference, I remember that you said very strongly that music has, as you also mentioned now, a huge impact on video. Uh, and that music influences the video experiences and how it can change the perception uh, of the concept. It can also change the perception we get of the characters in the movie and also the, um, the relationship between the characters. So without a doubt, music sets the overall tone and mode. And we know that also that wrong music can have a tremendous uh, change to the storyline. And, and based on my research, it showed that misfit music decreased sales. And mm -hmm. also misfit music made a luxury brand be perceived as less luxury for its customers. So let us discuss why br brands are not investing the same amount of time and money in the music storyline as they are in the visual storyline, when the chances of getting it wrong is so high and critical, especially that we have, you have, I have, you know, done scientifically world research showing that it has a significant, a significant potential power in improving either sales or ads, you know, and, and so on. What is your take on that? Yeah, it's a bit of an enigma indeed. Uh, and it's actually well known by uh, creative ad uh, teams that music plays a, a major role. I think there's something about the uh, you know, the uh, the potential for visuals to captivate us. Uh, actually, there's quite a bit more neural real estate devoted to visual processing than auditory processing as powerful as music is for us. So it's possible that just, you know, we can all get into a visual storyline and 
and when it's easier of access and easier to talk about and uh, music being something that affects us at an implicit level and is really cloaked in mystery. And when you hear a, a wonderful musician play, it's, it's kind of this, uh, this extraordinary uh, happening that's unfold, and then it's gone after it's done. It's, it's a mystery and it's a little hard to talk about Whereas you can talk about storylines, you can talk about colors, you can like, these are the things that, that are just more tangible. And so it ends up being the major focus uh, when it comes to discussions around developing ads. Uh, but I, I think people, you know, the, these researchers and marketers, and they know about the power, power of music, but I think it's, it's a little harder to get at, but these new tools and consumer neuroscience help out uh, with looking into those uh, non-conscious pathways.